Mmm. What's up, guys? It's Mike, and this is my magic brown drink. Now, you're probably wondering, what's in this magic brown drink? Well, I'm going to tell you something that you probably didn't know about me. Naturally, I'm really a fat and lazy guy, and I like to lie to people to make money. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the number one evil trick that you can use to make trainers hate you. So dumb. But seriously guys, what I want to talk about in this video was probably the simplest thing that you can do, or one of the simplest things that you can do to make yourself a better power lifter. Um, and it basically comes down to just um, developing a consistent setup and execution for each of your three lifts. Uh, the reason I think this is so important is because like I said, it's so simple that, that all you really have to do is think about it, come up with your routine, and perform it that way every single time you lift. Um, but it helps a lot because, I mean, if you think about powerlifting um, or lifting weights as a skill rather than just, you know, just being really strong and moving weight, um, think of it more so as, you know, the way you would a golf swing or a basketball shot, something like that. Something that's more technical, something that you need to um, analyze the mechanics and figure out how to do it correctly and then practice doing it correctly over and over and over again until it becomes ingrained um, and you can do it you know just automatically um, just like a basketball player would you know, when they shoot a free throw they might bounce the ball twice uh, spin it on their hand and shoot or a golfer might you know take a pick a target in the distance walk up to the ball check their target look back down and swing um, something like that you should have a consistent set of an execution for each of your three lifts as well so whether it be 135 pounds on the bar for your first warm-up set or you know four or five pounds on the bar for a working set or if it's your third attempt um, on your deadlifts in a meet um, regardless of how much weight it is regardless of the atmosphere or the environment your setup and execution should be exactly the same no matter what if you can do it the same over and over and over again over time this movement pattern will become ingrained it'll become very very familiar so that when you are in competition when you are going for that third attempt on your deadlift uh, and it's down to the wire. This is for you to break your PR total, for you to set a new record or whatever. Um, you'll be feeling the pressure and you'll be nervous, but it won't matter that much because all you have to do is just fall into that movement pattern. You fall into that movement pattern and you perform this as you always do. So real quick, we'll go through my setup and routine for all of my three lifts. For my squat, you'll see me you know, get a little bit psyched up, whether it be for working set or for my attempts. I get a little bit psyched up, set my hands where they're supposed to be, I'll approach the bar until my chest touches, set my feet underneath the bar, just inside my stance width, swing myself under, set the bar on my traps um, or on my back, wiggle myself into the bar, unrack, and I walk out in four steps always, two steps back, then one step out on each side. From there, I'll set my breath and initiate. Obviously, there's going to be some deviation between what you do and what I do, but regardless, whatever you decide to do should be efficient and it should be repeatable. Now, for me on bench, um, you'll see me set up. I'll you know get psyched up again, uh, and then I'll lay back flat on the bench. Um, I'll set my hands, or I'll retract my shoulder blades, then set my hands, um, and then once my hands are set, I'll bring my feet up on the bench. Then I'll use my feet to drive my traps into the bench exactly where they're going to be underneath the bar. Uh, wiggle myself tight, uh, put my feet back down, flat my feet flat, place my ass down on the bench, unrack, and wait for the command, and once I get the command, I initiate. And then finally for deadlifts, you probably, you probably already are a little bit familiar with this one because I post so many deadlift videos, um, but for me it's always going to be, you know, get a little bit psyched up, uh, when I'm ready, I'll approach the bar, uh, and I'll set my feet where they're supposed to be um, with using my shins in relation to the rings to set my stance width. Uh, once the feet are set, I will kind of protract my shoulders and do this double fist pump thing you always see me do. Uh, mime the movement once to get that movement pattern. And then I'll do the same thing, the double fist pump, and reach down, grab the bar, yank it once, and then my hips will shoot back. And as I swing forward, take my breath and initiate. Like I said so many times in the video, um, you know, try to be as consistent as you can with your setup and execution um, so that when you do have to perform under pressure in contest, 
it becomes as simple as just falling into a familiar movement pattern and performing that lift. Um, and your only limiting factor in that case should be whether or not you can produce the necessary amount of force to move the weight. Um, and that is ideal because I mean like if you're not strong enough, you're just not strong enough. Um, and that's something that you will fix over time. Whereas if it's something technical or something that uh, was psychological and you got you know, a little too nervous or something, um, that would be kind of a bummer. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, like it, share it, subscribe, whatever. One last thing guys, uh, I recently hit over 5,000 subscribers so I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have followed me uh, from the very beginning uh, as well as all of you guys who have subscribed recently. Um, I know a lot of you came from Johnny's channel so a huge shout out to Johnny um, for showing me some love. Um, and I thought to sort of, you know, celebrate this milestone or whatever you want to call it, um, I would do a QA. and a um, So on uh, either Saturday or Sunday, me and Sean will be answering questions. Um, so if you have any questions for me or for her, drop a comment down below um, and I will answer them in that video and I'll have that up next week. If you want to buy Titanium Fitness Apparel, go to titaniumfitness.bigcartel.com. If you want to hire me as your online coach, send me an email at titaniumfitnesscoaching at gmail.com. See ya. Do you want to give a shout out to yourself? Mm, that's weird. <laughs> Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. What'd you make? Um, Carne asada fries. I call these carne asada fries. <laughs>